Our society is based off of three pillars. And if any one of those pillars gets destroyed or damaged to the point where it starts to really fall apart, then the other two pillars will fall apart as well. And these pillars are control, manipulation, and ownership. These are our traditions. It may not be pretty to look at. And yes, there are obviously other things about us being human that come into the picture. But the three things that if one of them gets destroyed, the other two will fall as well are manipulation, control, and ownership. The very basis of capitalism is ownership. You know, when Robert Wallace got me to think a little bit more about you know, the whole high school mentality versus what we live as more as adults and the fact that they're really not much different started to really get me to think about this this stuff that I've thought about for many, many years. Again. We try to act like we're not tribalistic. Many people would like to think that we're not tribalistic. Thing is, a lot of these societies, these, these cultures that do live in a more blatant tribal sort of way, don't have all these problems with lying all the time. We are a culture of lies, unfortunately. So much of our society is based off of lying. People aren't very honest to each other. A lot of these other cultures that are very blatantly tribal have no need for the lies. Of course, they have all the issues with life expectancy. We don't like looking at what we are as humans. Not just who we are. We don't just have a problem with looking at who we are. We have a problem with looking at what we are. We have a problem with the idea of looking at humans as just being yet another part of the ecosystem on this planet, the, 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 the systems in place on this planet. We have a hard time looking at that. Oh, we have to be so much more. No, no, we don't. We really don't. We're not any more than that. And a lot of us will have these dreams that we can, oh, we're gonna eventually be able to travel several times the speed of light. Uh, no. <laughs> no. No, we can dream all we want about that shit, but no. We can analyze things as much as we can. We may find new ways of, of looking further into the universe than we are now, but this idea that we're actually going to just travel, just go, we're going to go to some new planet. Uh, no. We might colonize some of the planets that are in this solar system, but <laughs> to think we're actually going to do this Star Trek shit? No. <laughs> no, it's not going to happen. No. 
We are part of the ecosystem on this planet. We live tribal lives, whether we want to admit it or not. Oh, look at all this technology we have. No, that doesn't make mean we're not tribal. Look at racism, sexism, homophobia, heterophobia. Look at all these things. Tribalism. Look at how we treat, look at how so many people will still somehow look at what we did to the natives, the Native Americans. And they'll say, oh, they, lived, they were such savages, and we're not? Some of the other things that, that brought this into my head again, because this stuff I've thought about for a very long time, but some of what other things brought it into my head again were these discussions that I'm having with these vegans who are convinced that the right thing to do is to teach people not to eat meat. And it's like... Do you, do you realize how little of a blip that idea is compared to all these other things that we do I mean, there's going to be a point, I mean, probably at least 10 generations from now, where we will have to make major changes, or we as a species will die and we will kill everything on this fucking planet. You know, we, we have to make changes. We will eventually have to make changes. It's not going to be in my lifetime. I said, it's probably going to be 10 generations from now before we even start. And some of the things that don't even allow us to look at this shit are Abrahamic religions. You can't even question any of this shit. You can't even look at any of this shit. Because Abrahamic religions... We can't look at what we do. No, no, Everything's, everything on this planet was put here for us. Oh, it's all here for us. And now I've forgotten everything that I mentioned in this video versus the last one I made that got messed up because it ended up using the microphone from this webcam instead of the good mic and it was all distorted and all that shit, but... We... You know, when I say that I've, I've seen, I, I saw, I've seen a lot of this stuff for a very long time. I mean, what really started a lot of this, of seeing all this stuff, is when I had an out-of-body experience when I was 12. You know, it was probably just a hallucination, but, I mean, whatever. Whatever it was, it got me to see some things. Um, you know, I saw infinity. And life itself, I could look at as something that you could almost reach out and touch. I mean, like, life itself was a thing. And seeing how just almost just, just petty the, the ways that we approach so many things. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this country crumble away. I don't want to see capitalism crumble away in my lifetime. I don't want to see that shit happen in my lifetime. And that's probably very selfish. Not even probably. It is very selfish. It is very selfish of me. Because I know that we need to make changes, but I'm just like, I don't want that. I don't want that yet. I don't, I, uh, uh, you know. You know, I mean, one of the major things that has made this way, these traditional ways of approaching things so bad ends up being technology. And it's, and technology itself isn't bad. It's, it's the way that it get, gets our way of acquiring it, our way of implementing it, our way of, because of this, uh, 
control manipulation and and ownership way that we approach stuff it ends up being bad for those reasons we're all living these so so many of us are living these without knowing it i mean anyone that's that's making videos on youtube anyone that's watching these videos on youtube we're living these lavish lifestyles and we don't really even realize it But with these lavish lifestyles come is a cost. And I don't mean monetarily. I don't mean some sort of oh it's a spiritual cost. No, that's not what I'm meaning either. The more that we, like, okay, when we first got rid of slavery, or one type of slavery, there's other types that we still seem to kind of shove forth, and it can be debatable whether that can actually be called slavery or not, um, but whatever, you know, when, when we abolished what we know of as slavery, it was one, you know element of us picking away at some of those element those those pillars those three pillars there are so many things that are going to be happening in the future that are going to, to eat away at those pillars and as soon as one of those pillars is damaged enough where it starts to crumble the rest of them will crumble as well and it's at that point when this, these traditional viewpoints that are within our psyche, within our society, will cease to exist. And it's kind of interesting that Abrahamic religions are some of the things that are some of the glue that holds the those three pillars together some of the glue don't get me wrong at all it's some of the glue not all of the glue I'm probably not making any sense to a lot of people. You know, I've talked about in other videos about how the way that we look at pets is similar to some of the ways that we looked at slaves. And people will go, well, we really care about our pets, and we want to take care of our pets, and we want them to have a good life, and we want them to... Yes, but you still manipulate them, you still control them, and you still own them. The way that a lot of parents go about raising their kids, those same three pillars are a huge part of that. Teaching people something, teaching someone something, is not necessarily the same as controlling them and manipulating them. And it's certainly not the same thing as owning them. So whether I said this already in the video or not, whatever. We're like... We're like those fictional stories of vampires who can't accept that they're vampires. We're kind of like that. We can't accept what we are. We're kind of like...
we're kind of like a virus on the planet. We can't change what we are. We can... We can try to reduce misery. We can try to reduce damage. But we can't change what we are. And we shouldn't be ashamed of what we are either. I don't know what to say now. The, the first version of this video was a lot better than this. And I'm really tired. So... Anyway. <laughs>